I have been using JSM and not MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module for quite a long time in different types of Arduino based and IoT related projects. In this episode you will learn how to use Node MCU with JSM 7900A module. Node MCU, ESP8266 and JSM module together can be used in different advanced level projects. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company. PCBA is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module breakout board can be downloaded from the PCBWA official website. You can find a link in the description. The main advantage of using the Node MCU with GSM module is that if you have the internet connection and the Node MCU module is connected with Wi-Fi, then you can monitor the sensor data in real time from anywhere around the world using the Blink application or any other IoT platform. And you will also be able to receive the alert messages via GSM network. There are situations when the internet is not available. In a situation like this, you won't be able to monitor the data in real time, but you will get the alert messages via JSM network each time the sensor crosses a threshold value. For the demonstration purposes, I have connected a variable resistor and a push button. You can use any type of analog and digital sensors. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, complete circuit diagram explanation. Number two, Blink application designing, number three, code explanation, and finally, number four, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the JSM 7900A module. The first thing that you will notice about this JSM module is that it has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltage. Because voltages greater than 5 volts can easily damage this module. Ideal voltage for this JSM module is 4.7 volts. But you can easily power up this JSM 7900A module using a 5 volt adapter. If you don't have a 5 volt adapter, then you can make your own power supply using LM3170 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM3170. There are few things that I really like about this JSM 900 module, which are number one, this is the cheapest JSM module available on the market. Number two, another cool thing is it can be easily interfaced with 5 volt supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano, etc. and also with 3.3 volts controller boards like Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and ESP32, etc. This is where we connect the external 5 volt regulated power supply. It has a total of 9 male headers. These 3 male headers are not connected. Pin number 1 and pin number 2 are the 5 volts and ground pins, which I will leave unconnected as I will use an external power supply. Pin number 3 is the 5 volt DXD, pin number 4 is the 5 volt RXD, pin number 5 is the 3.3 volt DXD, and pin number 6 is the 3.3 volt RXD. Is the Node MCU? ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is based on the 3.3 volt controller board so we will be using the 3.3 volt TXT and 3.3 volt RXT pins of the GSM7900A module. 
Let's first start with the 5 volt regulator power supply which is used to power up the Note MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module. This power supply is based on the famous LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the female power jack and this is where we connect a 12 volt adapter, battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pen of the Node MCU ASP826 Wi-Fi module and the ground is connected with the ground. SV1 and SV2 are the female headers. The GSM SIM 900 module 3.3 volt TXT pin is connected with the Node MCU RX pin. The 3.3 volt RXD pin is connected with the Node MCU DX pin. While the ground pin of the GSM SIM 900 module is connected with the ground pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. As I explained earlier, the recommended voltage for the GSM module is 4.725 volts. The metal leg of the potentiometer or variable resistor is connected with the analog pin 0 of the Node MCU ASP8266 Wi Fi module, while the other two legs are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Node MCU module. A push button is connected in series with a 10K resistor. This is a pull up resistor. A wire from the middle of the 10K resistor and Push button is connected with the digital pin D0 of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. While the switch is open, 3.3 volt is given as the input to the D0 pin, and when the switch is closed, zero or ground is given as the input. Instead of using a push button, you can use any digital sensor, like for example, a PIR sensor, an IR sensor, a smoke sensor, and so on. So that's all about the circuit diagram. For the easy interfacing, I designed a PCB port for the Node MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module. This PCB is manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. Finally, I connected everything as per the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's make the Blink application, follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin S0 and a push button is connected with the digital pin D0. The rest of the instructions are exactly the same as used in my previous IoT projects and GSM projects. I simply combined the two codes. The detailed explanation of this code is available on my website. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.